I felt like I wanted to explain why I was getting ready. I'm getting ready for my personal gain, and I don't know, I think it helps with morale, if I'm being honest. But we had an earthquake this morning. I slept through it. Everyone, all my whole family was texting and like, oh my gosh, did you feel that? My mom's stories, she, I mean, she was scared. She thought the brick on her house was coming off. She said that it was super loud, super intense, and lasted a while. So she was closer to Salt Lake City than we are. We're in a valley, so we didn't feel it as much, but we still felt it. So I want to know what you guys thought and what you felt this morning. We were just like standing still. I no, just we were, we were just rocking. sitting. Out. We were that watching is. Frozen 2 on the couch, just sitting there. And we, was that without me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, could you feel it? Did you know what was happening? What did you think? It, Tell me. I thought Boston was rocking the couch. Dude, I thought Boston really? was rocking the couch, too. And then, really? and then I heard these creaking. Yeah, and, yeah. Heard, and it felt like the house was like swaying back and forth. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, and Can I tell you a fact about um, in Washington, if you go um Whoa. to the temp to that huge temple thing um they actually showed us but if you go underground and look what they did if there's any earthquakes oh, that thing all it will do is just sway back and forth like it will go in circles just sway and nothing will fall down our earthquake that we had today there was damage to our airport and so there's water in our international airport that's in salt lake city ruby my sister is out of the country she was trying to get a flight home early and as of right now she hasn't been able to get in contact with anybody the flights are not coming in or out right now because of the earthquake and then oh <laughs> did you know that the angel moroni on the temple broke off kids <laughs> what i mean i'm not like laughing but i'm just saying that was the damage that was done was the the trumpet no. on the angel moroni came off I want to show you guys. So what did you do when the earthquake hit? We just sat there. Okay, <laughs> do you know what you're supposed to do? Yes. Go against the usually, wall. Usually in school, if you if there's ever an earthquake, you have to get under a table. At least something that will cover you and you hold your head and you get down on your knees and you go like this. So under a table. And you, and you hold your head like this. Kevin said the safest spot was under the table. So I don't know if we should go under. Well, that has glass on it though. Yeah. So I was gonna say either under the table or in the door jam is what we were taught to. This is a door jam. Why do we go under that? Because it's structurally the most sound. What we're going to do is each kid Lincoln, you'll come with mom. Come here, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna come with mom and we're gonna stand in this doorway. Dad and um, a kid will probably stand in this doorway and then you kids are gonna stand in this doorway. What about Lady? You'll probably stand with him. Olivia wants to know what we'll do with Lady and you can, you can grab her and I bring her with you. We can put it you. in Lincoln's toy bin. No. Okay, this is exactly where you're going to go. Do you see? You're gonna stand here with dad, you're gonna stand here with me, and this is where we're going to be, is right here in the window Do you know door if jams. Um, we don't. That's, that is up to mother nature, and people can predict it. I think there might be another, they said that there might be another one, but I don't know if that's a trusted source, so we'll see. But now you know what to do, right? But where will we live if it's gone? If our house is like busting down, where will we live when people are building us another house? Yay. Yay. I don't know. But that's why we keep our tanks full of gas in case we've got to go anywhere. That's why it's wise to keep a 72 hour kit in your car. We have we have emergency supplies, but not 72 hours worth. Nothing. Did you know that Grandpa Holine, he called Gram he called Joel this morning. Just everything on his desk. And everything on his dresser was falling over. So we're just like, here's your dresser, here's all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I actually went in my room and I saw a couple things kind of lean forward. Like, like I had a picture, a little thing, you know, that picture mm -hmm. that I made. It was and like, you know my, it fell down. Mommy, my oh, Lego truck, um, um, it was moving backwards a little bit. Really? <laughs> was it? Oh, yeah. And one of my Legos, they fell down because it was like to the edge and it like fell down. And it really? Kind of so really? Mm -hmm. Lady, she didn't do anything. She was just chewing her bum the entire time. <laughs> kids are looking at the rain. So I was going over with the kids. Our number one rule is to stick together. And if the earthquake is bad enough, then we will take you outside and get to where there's no trees or, I don't, to be honest, I don't even know. 
Didn't Dad say if there was anything bad that we should go on the cement? If there's a fire, oh. if there's a fire, but you guys the reason you get in a door jam if we went outside and that tree came down and landed on you Like that's not good if we lived by a field You your best bet is to go out into the field But where there's trees and homes and cars outside you're I think we're just supposed to stay in our door jams Olivia's going to get everyone a slice of banana bread, and then we're going to no I don't we're going to get the kids a cup of ice cream and we're going to go watch a movie together. While the kids eat their ice cream, I just want to update you. We text our warehouse manager because he lives point, oh, let, me, let me read what it says. The epicenter was exactly 0.9 miles from my house. Then we felt at least 20 aftershocks. And then he goes on to say that the library in his house, all of the books have fallen on the floor, all the food came out of the fridge, all the art and pictures on his wall were ruined and broken when they fell off the walls. The power is out at our warehouse. And then he said, don't worry, I'll still get all the packages out. <laughs> I said, Matt, please do not worry about our packages. I do not want them shipped out today. Please be with your family. Just shows you what a good guy he is. Mom, guess what? What? The purple ice cream has purple in it. Wow. I had to come in my room to get away from the chaos of the kids. This is a lot for them. There was rumors that there was going to be another earthquake and then there's other like officials saying that, you know, the the likeliness of another earthquake is very low and not to worry. We're still being prepared for it just in case. It's times like this that really, and I haven't been like, and I'm still not nervous. It is what it is and you deal with it as it comes and that's kind of my take on life. Anything that comes our way, you just put one foot in front of the other and you figure it out as you go. So the kids had a lot of questions like, what if our house burns, or not burns down, what if our house crumbles down, what if, you know, what if mom and dad die? And I asked the kids, I said, what's our number one rule? Our number one rule in life is to stick together. And I said, if mom and dad die in an earthquake, you kids stick together. And let's say the entire neighborhood's house is crumbled down. Your job is to stick together and to get to work. Stick together and get to work. And that was very like strong in my chest. Like it was like I was being told to tell my kids that. And I think that is like the answer. You you listen to your gut, you listen to what you feel, and you get to work. You would you would start picking up board by board, brick by brick, and you would start over. And I was giving him examples of the some of the tragedies that have happened in the world. And guess what? The world moves on. Time goes on. And you get up and you get to work and you stick together and you help those around you. And that is the only thing that's important. There have been a lot of changes that Ellie and I have been making with Bali. We've been we've been working too much and it's too much. And it's not too much, but it's too much of what we don't want. Our our number one goal, both of us, is our families. And this might be premature talking about this, but for our fall, we are not going to be creating new clothes. We've been creating new clothes each season and it takes, I mean, we work every single day. And we made the decision that we wanted more time with our kids. We are not going to create anything new. We are going to restock all of our loungewear because that's what flies off the shelves in new colors. That's what we're going to stick with. Everything that's been going on you know, everything being canceled, everything, you know, being quarantined with our family at home, it just has solidified that is the right answer for us. And I kind of felt like it was a step backwards for us, but it confirmed to me that I am listening to the spirit. It is telling me what I need to do with my life and that confirmed to me that that was right. And it's hard because we don't, I don't talk a lot about our church or my religious beliefs on this channel. I try to just live it and show it. In times like this, that's the, that's, it's the only thing that gets me through this kind of thing. The peace that I have in my heart, knowing what I believe that, you know, what comes after this life, I have a lot of comfort. And I pray every day that I will have the spirit with me so that I can guide my family. Every day. That's what I pray for every day because the only thing that matters to me is that I'm doing what Heavenly Father wants me to do and that I'm close to the Spirit so that He can tell me what I need to do. And 
that's what gets me through these kind of moments is my faith and our sweet prophet president nielsen put out a video and it was the number one trending video on youtube people cling to cling to their faith at this time times of the unknown i don't like i said i don't feel nervous i don't feel scared because we have leaders that are guiding us and we have our own agency to, to decide how we move forward and I don't know if what I'm saying even, like I don't really have a conclusion, I'm just kind of telling you what's on my mind. I wish, in times like this, I wish that our videos were a little more accurate with time so you won't see this until after the fact, but that's where we are. I'm gonna close the vlog here. I may update you later if there's anything to update, but if there's not, I'm gonna close the vlog here. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to our channel, we would love to have you part of our YouTube family. And put your finger down, Olivia. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.